Alright, so the perimeter of a two-dimensional shape is the distance all the way around it. Peri just means around, and meter has to do with measurement, so the measurement all the way around. Um, and we can actually write formulas that um, give us the perimeter of certain kinds of shapes. So uh, so let's, let's actually write a couple of these formulas um, just based on patterns that we see in figuring out the perimeters of these objects. So let's start with this rectangle. Um, let's just kind of do this the the slow way um, first. Let's say that the uh, the length of the rectangle is eight and the width is four. Let's say. So if we were to calculate the the perimeter based on uh, knowing the lengths of the sides, we would go um, eight plus four plus eight. plus 4 um, is equal to 24. 8 plus 4 is 12. 8 plus 4, another 12. So uh, that would be taking us all the way around the shape. Um, but let's let's see some patterns here. Um, if we call 8 the um, length of the rectangle and 4 the width um, actually, to me, I would call that the height, but that's confusing because when you want to talk about three-dimensional shape, uh, you can talk about height. Um, so this is traditionally called the width of the rectangle. Um, so if you notice um, a pattern here, eight is the is the length, um, and four is the width. So if we don't know these actual measurements and we just want, wanted to write this um, as as with variables instead of um, instead of the actual uh, lengths and widths, we could just rewrite what we did with uh, length plus width plus length plus width is equal to the uh, p perimeter, um, and then we can just kind of clean this up a little bit to make it look nice. Um, instead of um, length plus width plus length plus width, we would call that um, two times the length. Uh, it's two lengths here. Two times the length plus uh, uh, twice the width is equal to the perimeter. So there we go. That's a nice clean formula. We can use that on any rectangle now. So if I have a, a rectangle with, uh, let's say, width two and length um, five, I, I would just plug these in. Uh, uh, two times five plus two times two is equal to the perimeter. So two times five is ten, two times two is four, perimeter is equal to fourteen. So two times the length plus two times the width is equal to the perimeter of a rectangle. That's only going to work on a rectangle. Um, now let's look at this special type of rectangle um, called the square. And so let's um, let's just start with say we know some actual values here. A square's uh, sides all have the same length, so um, let's say they're all four. Let's just pretend. Uh, well, we could do this the old way: just four plus four plus four plus four is equal to the perimeter. Uh, 16, 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 4 is 12, plus 4 is 16. Um, or we could see, look, we're just adding the same side length four times. Um, why, why do it? Why do it this way? Why not just say um, 4 times the side length, whatever it is, is equal to the perimeter? Uh, that's that's much more elegant. So I could I could say I've got a square here. Let's say it's got a side length of three. Well, I know a square has all the same side lengths, so I could, if I wanted to figure out the perimeter, I could just say four uh, times three now, because the side length is three. Four s s is three is equal to the perimeter, so that's twelve. Boom, simple. Um, now triangles are n n not that easy. Um, there aren't any simple patterns for it for. Um, you know, with a rectangle and a square, there's there's sides that are the same length, so you can kind of cut down the work by um, 
instead of adding them all up, you can kind of shorten things for yourself by saying two times the length plus two times the width, or even just four times the side um, for a square. But actually, the lengths of uh, the different lengths of the uh, triangle sides could be could be anything. Um, so what you have to do to find the perimeter of a triangle is simply just uh, if you call this A and this B and C, you just just gotta add them all up. A plus B plus C. Sorry, wish there was a cool trick for you. Uh, if it's an equilateral triangle, you know for a fact it's an equilateral triangle. That means all the sides are the same. So um, you could just cut down on work for yourself by if you know the side length is three, or let's call it four. Uh, there's three of the same side lengths for an equilateral triangle, so three times four, like that. But for a general triangle. Just got to add up all the sides. There's not an easy pattern there. So the perimeter is equal to A plus B plus C. And that just means uh, a, the side plus the side plus the side. And I'm just going to give you the formula for the perimeter of a circle. Um, that one took many, 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 many years for great philosophers to figure out. Um, and uh, I don't want to cause you all that pain. So I'll just tell you. So the perimeter of a circle is also known as its circumference um, and that is equal to um, 2 pi r and that pi is that magic number that took so long to figure out so 2 pi times the radius or you can think of it as um, since the radius is half of the diameter you could just call it the diameter times pi so these are all formulas for um, the perimeter of different two-dimensional shapes and you can kind of figure out patterns there and write your own formulas and now that you know where this formula came from it should be easier for you to use and remember um, you know the formula for uh, the perimeter of a rectangle formula for the perimeter of a square of a triangle alright take care